Just spit five, put your ass in full chain. What is the call on my phone? Send me James, going through brain. Cut, we just outside dancing, moving a mile and feeling insane. He's come. What's going on, guys? Blissip Will here, and today. I'm gonna just be showing y'all Cardi's new music vocal preset. You guys know he's got an album coming out soon. Basically, I opened up my old Cardi vocal preset and kind of just built off that. It was from a leaked session called Athena, and so it's pretty authentic. I just built off that and kind of made a little bit changes, few changes to it. I went off his new snippet called Miss Jackson, and it might be on music, his album, so who knows, guys. If y'all want the Cardi preset, head over to Vocal Search shop and we got all our presets templates plugins on there do me a favor too and go check out my music ballistic will in our stores you guys can hear me use my own presets that you guys hear in these videos and I use them on my songs I don't always sound like the artists or anything I don't try to copy nobody but yeah just go check out my music do me a huge favor and support me so yeah guys but yeah guys I'm not wasting any time I'm just be breaking down the song and let's get straight into it opening this up this is what it's looking like basically i went here new from template and i went to my waves template and uh that sold on vocalsearch.shop but yeah guys you can see what i was doing i was doing a lot with this song and you can see how many different tracks i got right here how i mixed it um lots of like fades right here if that's what you want to call it um couple ad lib double tracks this is like our main take up here like main track they all say main but that was just a preset i dragged from over here and all my presets i just dragged that over here um but yeah i was doing a little gain staging or like just boosting i was just boosting it a little bit with the gain over here but yeah guys i'm gonna just get straight into the vocal preset so opening up the mixer we got our cardi preset in red right here it's not a very long preset basically we're starting off with ns1 right here and this takes away um some like let's say you got like a door slam in the back it will do its best to take out the background noises so if you got like um fans or whatever i have a fan but it really does not make a lot of noise and when i'm recording i have a shield around my microphone so yeah just takes out that background unwanted noise next we're going down to our de-esser and it's at 4200 negative 20 uh so i opened up my old cardi preset and i i'd made a few changes but i thought the ns1 and de-esser sounded fine and coming down here we got our cardi uh our cardi f6 eq and you guys can use whatever eq you want but i'm gonna run y'all through the whole thing since i did a lot of changes um i had a cut going around 124 just rolling off the low frequency the unwanted lows coming over here you guys can just see i didn't mess with the q but it was at 216 right here negative 0.9 on the gain uh negative 1.6 right here 389 so just copy all this down and i was trying to take out that like nasally sound from it basically and i already had an eq preset up here i just built off that because i have a lot of eq presets that i just like to mess around with or whatever sounded best i did um but yeah 696 right here negative 3.2 and the q was 2.5 and then go ahead and get this down 2016 2.6 on the q negative 0.9 so just dragging it down just a little bit not too much um, and then here's this fifth band right here 4032 and uh, negative 0.9 nothing with the Q and then I just did a split down here um, and this just boosts the high end adds like a lot of sparkle to your voice I always say that but it really does if you're trying to get like crispy clear vocals you guys definitely want to boost this last band this high band down here and yeah next we got an arc compressor and shout out to the people who've been commenting saying in one of my videos the arc compressor wasn't doing nothing so i made sure to turn the ratio up to 3.9 uh threshold negative 1.7 gain at 0.7 and then attack at 16 release 160 and make sure you get it down here arc opto smooth but yeah guys that's what our arc compressor was looking like um that was the first compressor in the chain next we got our ssl channel and i did change a couple things on here since the last cardi preset he's got a whole different sound whole different style so i had to mess with this low down here a little bit but i'm gonna run y'all through it um basically i cut this high frequency turned it down a little bit just a little bit and it's at a negative 2.5 right here 12 13 12.1 
negative 2 right here 3.3 um, then 0.1 or like 0.10 whatever you want to call it uh, and then I was messing with this low middle frequency down here uh, just going negative 3.6 2.5 and this is at 0.10 again I really don't think I used any of the compress since the last preset I had because you don't always need to use this compressor um, some people do and I sometimes do but yeah I just had this off and make sure to turn analog off next we got our CLA vocals and I always make changes to this for every song I do um, just because you're gonna need to change it a little bit so basically I had this one go in negative 2 on the bass for bite I kept it at 2.7 push right here for the compress I had it on push and it was just staying at zero um, I do that for most of my vocal chains I keep it at zero and then really the reverb and delay is what I always mess with and it just depends on each song sometimes you want a tight sound sometimes you want a slap delay or you can have the quarter delay eighth delay um, anything I had it go in at large on this one and cut it almost all the way down negative 9.3 and I'm making sure to hook y'all up with the numbers so you guys can get this. But also you can get it on vocalsurge.shop and I appreciate y'all for supporting me. Again, I, I said this in the first Cardi video, but I'm not trying to be cringe with it. I'm not trying to copy Cardi or anything. I'm just trying to demonstrate the preset to y'all because it's crazy. It's a music preset. His new album, probably dropping in January, but you know Cardi, it could be another two years and we would never know. Uh, and then I had this one on slap delay. And I thought it sounded best with that because I don't want too much of like quarter or eighth delay unless it was super quiet. So I thought the slap sounded really good with this large reverb over here. I always keep the pitch down like almost all the way, pretty much all the way down and off. So cut it down because even when this is off up here, like you don't have it doing nothing basically. Um, this knob still matters. It kind of does affect the sound. So. I kept that all the way down, had this one off. Last we got a CLA 76 and I made no changes to this, but uh, attack at 4, release at 7, and then the output was negative 17.6, um, input was at negative 24, so yeah that's what I always have going with my CLA 76 for my setup. You guys are going to need to switch this up probably just a little bit for your setup because not everybody has the same microphone interface uh preamp just a lot of different things go into it so but yeah guys that's the vocal chain and now let me just direct y'all let me just show y'all the master and shout out quentin bobbit uh i go over this every video so i'm not going to break it down too much but basically he's got a crazy stock mastering plugin with saturation um, just things you can boost the master with and so I think it sounds really good We had our L1 limiter going at negative 2.3 and then the out ceiling at negative 0.2 We had a stereo imager after that and basically I just keep it I have the same master preset I throw in there every time and I kind of built like onto it on top of that plugin above the final step and uh, I just had it widening like you want to open up the stereo field make it a little bit wider if you can for my preamp though this is just boosting some of the highs mids and lows and uh, it kind of just adds a little bit more crisp and boosts certain aspects of it so yeah guys I had the high going at 1.3 uh, 0.5 for the mid you guys can use whatever preamp you want or if you even have a preamp it's up to y'all I just thought it helped with this overall song and then the low I was doing more low end because it's he's just got a deeper voice the way he switched his style and coming over here I kind of slap these on every song that I do and basically I had a waves tune my auto tune you guys can use whatever auto tune you want and I was not exactly sure of the key but we weren't using that much tuning anyway and it sounded really close so basically I had it on E major and this if you keep the correction on if you're using waves tune it adds saturation regardless so I didn't want to cut it completely off um, but I had it going on 39 and it's barely working like you can barely tell there's tuning on it except it does add just the slightest bit to where it brightens the vocals 
add slightest bit of tuning that's all i can say about it we got our r vox down here going at negative 4.9 negative 4.3 right here and I, I really didn't switch a lot of these settings from my other videos um, and then we got a C4 going down to the pop preset but honestly the new Cardi sound you could probably boost this band up a little bit like that and what that will do is just it will help compress the low better it will bring it out a little bit more and we got our reverb right here you guys can copy this down but it's almost completely all the way down because I don't want too much reverb when I'm already using the one on the Cardi preset basically. So let me come back over here and we had just dampening kicked a little bit up, wet and dry on 35 and I was doing a little cut down here bringing this EQ. It was like up here and then I brought it down like there. So size is 67 too. So get that down. Hall one you guys can use whatever reverb you want really it's just up to you you can replace any of these plugins with what sounds best for you or what you have got a H delay and it's turned all the way off um, on the wet and dry but I thought it just adds a little bit of saturation to it even though it's completely off I had it on lo-fi and 142 right here 178 1.7 and uh, the delay was on 1 16th, so it was on 16th delay. We got a flanges, and I did not, didn't mess with any of the settings, but basically just brought it down to 12%, it says up here. So yeah, guys, that's what was working for me. And now I'm gonna just run y'all through the raw vocals and then the mix song, and it's crazy, man. Not my most super accurate remake, but it's pretty close to that first Cardi one. You guys need to go check that video out too. The whole lot of red preset, crazy guys. But yeah, you can just hear the raw vocals right now. Then I'll play the mix song. Disrespect five, put your way, simple change. What is up? Call my phone, send me Jace, going through rain. Cut it. We just outside dancing, moving a mile and feeling insane. He's coming. Disrespect five, put your way, simple change. So, yeah, guys, you can hear how raw the vocals are. No effects, no nothing on there. And it's sounding clean already, kinda. I mean, it sounds kinda all over the place with all those different tracks, but now I'm gonna throw back at everything. And the way it was mixed, I think it sounds crazy, guys. And this is just a snippet, by the way. I'm hoping it's on Cardi's album because I thought this is hard. I even added the Swamp Izzo ad libs and stuff. Listen to this really fast. Swamp Izzo! Simmons Jace going through burn. Cardi! He's coming! <laughs> He's coming! <laughs> yeah, but guys, but I had to bring out a whole nother voice today. Um, but yeah, guys, slap all the effects back on. And let's go. Disrespect five, put your way, send for change. What is the color of my phone? Send me Jace, going through rain. Cut it. Who's just outside dancing, moving a mile and feeling insane. He's coming. Disrespect five, put your way, send for change. Yeah, guys, so just a little 10, 20 second snippet. But um, yeah, I just made sure to throw a little bit of intro in there. Uh, kind of repl there was a little loop of the instrumental and yeah I just kind of put that on repeat up here faded it out um, but yeah guys that was crazy you guys could hear all the effects everything I did to this track and yeah head over to vocalsurge.shop if you guys are trying to get Ken Carson destroy lonely playboy cardi presets they're all on there stock and waves so go get yourself a preset we're around Christmas time hope y'all enjoyed this video and make sure to like and subscribe have a great Christmas and I'll catch y'all later